Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a custom Minecraft 1.15 texture pack, and then we'll use that to have some fun with our bees and make some custom Minecraft 1.15 bees as well. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, share. You can support my channel through Patreon, and also don't forget to subscribe as well. I do a bunch of videos every single week. Some of them on graphics programs and some of them on Minecraft. Okay, let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is to make our custom Minecraft 1.15 texture pack. So I'll start off by closing out of Minecraft and I'll go back to the loader screen. There's our launcher right here, the loader screen. Now first thing you need to do is go to installations right up here and then make sure that snapshots is selected that's checked right there very important you need to have snapshots checked we'll be using that to set up our texture pack because we'll be getting our texture pack from the latest snapshot right now we're at 19w38b there's a new one of these each week we're at week 38 for the year and of course it's 2019 so there's our latest snapshot we'll be using that one now don't do anything over in here, we just want to make sure we have that one set. You can go back to play, and you should see that right down here at the bottom. It should say latest snapshot. If it doesn't, click on the little drop down arrow right there, and then choose the latest snapshot from your list. But it should be the one at the top. The next thing we'll need before we start is to go over here and make a new folder in your computer someplace. I have my standard Minecraft folder right here. This is where I build all of my videos and then I put in here a new folder called 1.15 1.15 right there just a, an empty folder we'll be putting our texture pack files in this folder and doing all, all of our building for our custom texture pack inside of this new folder okay that's all set and that's all set next thing we need to do then is to hit the play button and let us go ahead and launch Minecraft I'll just fast forward through this bit. So I'm going to stand here watching this thing for a minute and a half while it loads up. And I'll be right back. That wasn't too bad, just 30 seconds. This little bit here, this might be a glitch on this particular snapshot. I don't know. Looks neat, though. Okay, we're at the launch screen right now for Minecraft. Click on Options, and then go into Resource Packs right there, and then Open Resource Pack Folder and there it is. Now what you want to do is go up here in your address bar and just back up one step where it says Minecraft right there. Okay now come down your list and where it says versions down here open up versions and then in versions scroll clear to the bottom right down here and look for the same version that we've just loaded. Let me just go ahead and show that so you can see that up here someplace. There it is at the very top. It's at 19W38B right there. So you want 19W38B. You want this folder right here. Okay, now let's open that folder up. And in here you want the top file, the jar file. In this case it's 19W38B jar. Yours will be a different number, of course, because I'm sure you'll be watching this in the next two, three, four, five weeks, whatever. Your number will be different, but it's the top one in here. Again, just make sure that you are matching the version that you've opened up there. And then grab that jar file. And you want to copy that over into your new folder that we have already set to go over here. I'm just going to right mouse drag that over and choose copy. There we go. Okay, now I can close this down. And we can close this down. We're done in here. And I'll just quit game. And we're now all set. The next thing we need to do is we need to uncompress this jar file. Now the program that I use is one called 7-Zip. It's a free program, download, easy to use. And the nice thing about it is it works with the jar files great. And if you right click, it puts in a nice little drop down here, making it very, very easy. I just brought up that website in the background here. It's 7-zip.org and then just download the version you want for your computer. Mine happens to be Windows 64-bit right down there. So let's go ahead and download that and install it on your system. Once that's been installed, and again that's 7-zip.org, I'll put a link for this on my Minecraft 
website page. There's a link for that, of course, in the description. Once that's been installed, you'll then have that nice right mouse click option right there. Okay, once this is done, let's go ahead and click Extract Files. And it's going to automatically extract it into the same location and then give it a folder of that name, and that's perfect. Just choose OK. And then let it go through and do this extraction of this jar file into just a folder. We'll then go inside of that folder and grab out the assets part of that, which is what we need to create our texture pack. It's just that assets part of this whole big jar file here, not the whole thing. There's just an easy way to do that as well, and we'll see that in just a second. And there it is. Okay, go into that new folder, and the one you want is the top one here. It says Assets. All you have to do is right click on that, choose Copy, go back to go back one step on your folder, right back here, right click and paste. It'll take it a minute to paste this because there's a lot of stuff in there, as you can see, about 14 megs of information, but it'll go pretty fast. It'll just copy that into this folder. As soon as that's done, we then can go into that folder and I'll show you where you will find the bees which we'll use to change their color and give them kind of a nice interesting green effect as opposed to their standard orange-yellow effect. So it's just about finished in here and there we go. Okay, so there's the assets. Go inside that folder and then inside the Minecraft folder come down to textures down here. Don't go into block states. Come down to textures right there. Open that up just by double clicking and come down where it says Entity right here. I'm going to be inside of that one and then scroll down here and you'll find B. It's a folder. Open this one up and there are four different B states in here and the stinger over here on the right hand side. There's the regular B, the angry B, the angry B with nectar, and the B with nectar. We'll just do the first one here, the regular B. So if the bee gets angry or if it has nectar, it will then change back to yellow since it'll be using these. For the full job, you want to change all of these to different colors, maybe even different colors for each one, but we'll work with just this one here, the b.png. Now you can edit this file in any good graphics editor. It doesn't really matter what, as long as it can handle transparency, because there are transparencies on this. It needs to handle transparency. I like using Photoshop Elements, but a lot of other programs are just as good. 3D Paint from Microsoft. GIMP is a good program. If you have the money, Adobe Photoshop is a good program. You know, anything as long as it can handle PNG files and transparency. Okay, I'll go ahead and open up my Photoshop Elements with the B image. There we go. Now these are real small files as you can see. So I'm going to zoom in on this thing. Let's grab my zoom tool here. We'll zoom in nice and large. And there we go. There is the B in here, our standard B graphic. And now we can see it pretty well. Now let's pull this out a ways like that. Now this makes up the whole B. There are different parts in here. There's the face is right here. There's the left side, right side. There's the top. That's the bottom. Then we have our wings down here and other parts, you know, the uh, antenna and so forth in there. So that's the image for the bees. Now what I did was I made two layers in here. You can use layers inside of Photoshop Elements. And I used one to show just the light parts. In here, these two light stripes, this, these two light stripes, this stuff in here, and those two light stripes. And then a second layer to do just the dark stripes. So we bring those up. There we go. That is the dark stripes in here. Ignore the blue part. We got the dark stripes in here. I've now colorized those using a hue saturation shift. So that one is the dark areas. And then you can see it better right there with our layer mask showing. And then I brought in my coloration for the top part. So I used basically two areas here, two layers. One colorizes the part that was yellow orange and one colorizes the part that was brown. Notice it also changed the antenna and the wings and stuff, and those are just fine. I'll just leave those as is. They kind of match nicely. So that's all there is to it. You can recolor this you know, any way you want to, change your graphics any way you want to, as long as you stay inside of those bounds, given you'll put in diagonal stripes, whatever you feel like. I just went ahead and did a green color shift on this. 
So once you've done that, you can then save this out. So I go up here to File, and here we use Save for Web in Photoshop Elements. And you want to save it out as a PNG 24. Make sure that transparency is selected right there. So we have our transparency PNG 24. Click on Save. And make sure you're sitting back into the right folder, back into the same folder that we're in. There it is. There's our 1.15 Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Entity, and B. And there is the file right there, BPNG. Choose Save. This will ask you to replace that file. Choose Yes. And there we go. I've now changed the regular B state from a yellow-orange state into this green-blue look. Okay, let's go ahead now and save this one. Now you can save these if you're working with a PSD file, a Photoshop style file, you can save this right back into the same folder. So you can easily go back and do more work later on. Minecraft just ignores these PSD files. They don't cause any problem at all. And that's what I like to do. I just like to save it back in the same location. And I can then go back and re-edit in the future, change colors, whatever I feel like. Okay, so now go ahead and get this out of the way. And there we go. There is the b.png now in green. There's my Photoshop file. Photoshop Elements also uses the Photoshop file format. And again, this file is just ignored by Minecraft. So I can just keep this here for easy editing in the future. So there's our green B. Let's now back up to our 1.15 folder, which is right here. Now we need to take this assets folder and combine that with two more files, zip those together to create our custom texture pack. Let me bring up those files. There we go. I have these two in a test folder. It's the pack.mc meta file and a pack.png icon file. I'm just going to drag this over here and copy those right there. So I have those two files. Let me show you what's in both of these. Now you don't actually have to have a pack.png. If you don't have this file, then you'll just get a default file for that, just kind of a gray scale image for that for your thumbnail. I happen to like using my own, which I'll just show you right here. I'll bring this up. It's just my little panda bear right there. I just use that most of the time. And the pack.mc meta, there it is. There's what that says. Now, you can go ahead and type this in and go through a lot of trouble to get this thing exactly right. Make sure you don't get any spaces or anything messed up. Or you can just download this file from my website. There's a link for that again in the description. That's the easy way to do it. The important thing in here is this number right now. At this point, the 1.15 is still working with number 4, version 4. That may or may not change when the final version of 1.15 comes out in the future here. But we'll see what happens. But right now it's still working with number 4. This is the same number that also worked in the earlier versions of 1.13 and 1.14. They're also both number 4 on that. The part right here says my resource pack you can put anything you want in there. That doesn't matter. Let's just call this one Green Bees. There we go. And I'll save that. Okay, so you have your pack.mc meta. And again, you can get both of these. You can download both of these from my website to save you all kinds of trouble on that. So let's now zip up what we need. We need the assets folder. I'll hold the control key down. We need that pack.mc meta and the pack.png. You need those three pieces. Right click. We already have 7-Zip installed, so let's bring that back up again. There it is. And you want to add to archive. It's the one right down there, add to archive. Click on that. You can give this any name you want for your archive. And I've already done a couple of tests on this particular one here, so I'm going to call this one bees-3. There it is. Make sure your archive format is zip. Very, very important step right there. Make sure that, that is the zip file format. Everything else can stay as is. Everything else is at the defaults. So give it a name. Make sure it's in the zip file format. Choose OK. This thing going to go through and zip this whole thing together in a brand new zip for us. You can actually see the temp file right there. As soon as it goes into the full zip, once it finishes up, that will just become our zip file. Okay, I'll just do a little bit of video magic here. Actually, don't need to. Look at that. It finished real fast, faster than I thought it was going to. Okay, so there it is. There's our B3 zip. Now, we can go ahead and put this into Minecraft and see how we did. Okay, there's our launcher again. Make sure you're on the right snapshot. Still, you should be. Click on play, and we'll go ahead and launch Minecraft. 
once that's launched, we'll then be able to move our new custom texture pack over into Minecraft into the resource pack folder. Let's give it a minute here to load up and then we'll be all set to get that out of the way. This goes pretty fast as you can see, it loads in pretty quickly. And there it is. Okay, click on options, click on resource packs, open resource pack folder. There we go. And then I'll take the new one here. That's our B's 3 zip. And if you right drag this like that, you can then choose copy. Or click on copy, click on paste, whatever you like. So there's the B's 3. It's now inside of the Minecraft resource pack. We can now get these out of our way. Click on done. Click on done. Go back to options again. Back to resource packs again. And then you should see your new resource pack right here at the top. It says green bees. That's the one we just did. Bring that over. There's our green bees. Click on done. That loads in. Once that's done, we can then go ahead and click on done. And now we can launch the Minecraft. Let's go ahead and just make this a bit larger here. There we go. Now at this point, you should create a new world to test this out. Whenever you're working with any of these snapshots, always make a new world for your snapshots. Now I've already done that. My new world is right there. But if you haven't done that, for instance, don't play any of your older games down here. Make sure you make a new world first. But again, since I've already done that, we'll use this one right up here. We'll launch our new world in here and we'll see how this works. It should look just the same as it did before on my little preview for you. Even though I redid everything, I put it back the same way I had before. So there we go. There's all of our green bees. There's a bee that has some nectar in it. All the rest of the bees are nice and green, just like we made them. So it's that easy to do. That's how you make a custom Minecraft 1.15 texture pack. And also, you can customize your bees. Now we have a texture pack, we can customize the bees pretty much any color, any look you want. There you go, making custom 1.15 bees. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and of course, click on share. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can also help support my channel through Patreon and there's a link for that down there in the description. Mm -hmm.